All right. Uh, decisions, decisions. I think the Frost Giant is the biggest threat. I'm assuming that the one that is still, I guess, charmed or cursed, is he continue going to be trying to re-grapple? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. all he's going to do until until all the spell right. ends so or whatever. So these two, I think, are tied up sufficiently. I'm going to transfer Hunter's Mark to the Giant. And I'll just attack him twice. Um, Alright, so Longbow. 14, darn. No, not Bardic quite good enough. Nice. Alright, and then a second attack. Oh. Nice. <laughs> there, there you go. go. Alright. Crit! So, and, oh, wow. Hunter's Mark right. twice. One, two... Ooh. That's still bad for a crit, but 9, 11, 13. Not bad. Uh, 13. Okay. Not bad at all. All right. I am going to move back 30 feet away from the giant, if at all possible. Just. Okay. Okay. Pony. I'm using Cure Wounds on Bernane. Okay. And oh, I'm going to cast it at a third level spell slot. Wow. Okay. What, well, what does that do, first off? How much health does he currently have? You don't want to so I have, uh, I, I actually have 33, so if oh, you want okay. to save it... What's your max you health? Save it. 52. So that's the difference of... Okay, so that's 19. Yeah, 19. So. Okay, so, so maybe second level then. Okay. I mean, Ooh, you saw how you. hard this Frost Giant can hit. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I click on this, cast level 2, submit. Wow. Oof. <laughs> should have done it third level. I Sorry, I didn't it. know. All right. <laughs> wow, so, two natural ones on your D8. Oh, Oof. goodness. So four? Do I add four? Five. Five. Five, okay. Yeah. Okay, um, that is 38. That's unlucky. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, it's better than nothing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't move nothing. back, Zana, I would. I'm going to move here. Uh, Why? Okay. Why, Why man away Why from not? the giant? Because I want to try and cure Brennan again, because I know oh, how hard he hits. You have to be touched. Oh, you have to touch him. Yeah, I have to touch him. Okay. Uh, okay. The Weevil is still trying to untie the ropes from him, and he says, "Please give me my hand axes." And I assume you guys un disarmed him when you tied him up. Yes. Um. Yeah. So, I mean, who who would have taken his hand axes? I guess I would have. Okay. So if you want, I'll let you. Throw him to him if you if you want to. Yes, I would like to do that. I'd like to throw him his hand axes. Do I need to make an athletics check or? No, no, no. You're close okay. enough. You just toss him behind you. That's fine. Okay. Uh, they land on the floor next to him, and he picks one up and starts cutting at the rest of the ropes on him. Uh, he's going to be free next turn. Oh, I'm okay. Such a bad feeling about that. <laughs> okay. The giant is going to move up. I'm just going to move this guy out of the way. Okay. And he is going to attack you, Brenane. Okay. Better me than Santa. Okay. Oh, rally would have been nice. <laughs> so rather than swing his great uh, axe Sorry. at you, his giant great axe, oh, he okay. actually takes one hand and he reaches around you and grapples you with a single hand and pulls you into the air. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> He's going to toss me, right? <laughs> He's going to toss me like a bad salad. Toss me. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Okay. I need you to make a strength saving throw. Strength saving throw. You okay. Strength. You got this. Uh, 22? That's okay. got to be good enough. <laughs> I hope. That is good enough. But oh, you're good. still going to take uh, uh, what is it? Uh, 10 points of bludgeoning damage as he oh, crushes my. you in his hand. Yeah. Okay. But you're able to sort of like resist it slightly. Um, but that's going to be his whole turn for now. You All are right. currently grappled up in the air in this giant, giant's huge hand. Oh, goodness. Okay. Um, all right. It's your turn, Bernane. So all go right. ahead and roll the constitution saving throw for me. Okay. Once again. All right. <sighs> Nine. Goodness um, gracious. Yeah, you're going to take five points of cold damage. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so you're currently grappled. You could try to escape his grasp, or um, you could try to attack him, but you're going to have disadvantage. Is he sort of teetering on one leg, or is he? Uh, does he have all of his faculties about him? Um, he's got both feet on the ground, and you are well out of the range of his feet. He's got you up in his hand, up close towards his chest, really. I think what he's asking is, how hurt is he? 
Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were trying going to try to like take a swing at his leg or something to knock mm-hmm. him down. Sorry. That's um, good, you know. He's still in pretty decent shape. Oh, great. He's definitely taking a lot of damage, but I mean, he's a giant. He's got a ton of health. Mm-hmm. Okay, so does he have me by my head? Is he? No, he's he got his, like... his his hand is like wrapped around your entire chest, and he's got okay. you like in his hand. Okay, so I have no possibility to make an attack then, because my arms are are, are um, pinned. I'll say or... that you could try to make an attack against him, but it would be a disadvantage. What was just trying to get out of his grasp? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to try and uh, get out of this guy's grasp because, uh, yeah, this isn't going to end well otherwise. Okay, so how do I do that? Do I? So you're going to have to make either an acrobatics or an athletics check, your choice. Okay. Whatever I'm you're gonna... better at. I'm, I'm much better at athletics, so let's do that. Uh, athletics check, 24. Okay, you're able to wiggle out of his grasp. Nice. Okay, so I still have my attack, right? Is that correct? No, that was your uh, action. Yeah, that was your action to get out of his grasp. That's my action. You have okay. a bonus action, though, if you want to either second wind or rally. Yeah. Uh... I can. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and rally. Yeah, I'm going to rally Xana because um... oh, she's right next to me. So let's do that. I'm going to rally Xana. Okay. And it's uh, D6. D6. D8 and add G, or just roll your superiority die and add your add your charisma modifier to it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so eight. 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 eight temporary hit points to Xana. Okay, not bad. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so that's all I can do. I don't get an uh, an extra attack or. You can try. To, you can move. That's the last thing that you could do. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna stay where I am. Okay. Uh, Dragon. All right. Well, if Renane is adjacent, it means I don't have to stealth to attack. I don't have. Correct. Attack. You'll still get your sneak attack. Yeah. So I might as well shoot the giant. <sighs> I can't see. <laughs> That's fourteen. <laughs> Why wow. am I rolling so bad? <laughs> That's you you haven't out. rolled above in a seven against this guy. It's crazy. Oh my. Okay. It, well, he's so huge. I can't. I can't shoot twice because I don't have that ability. I right. Guess. That's not something rogues can do. Correct. I would say move back. I wish I, unless I had my short bow and long bow. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. So I would say move back, or do something. Yeah. Uh, I'm being. Um. I'm probably gonna move. Although, honestly, I don't need to move that far. You can move into the bushes and attempt to stealth for next turn. Yeah, because I do have my extra action. Yeah, I'll move over there, move here-ish. Okay. And then I can stealth. I've been rolling high on stealth, but apparently not on my shooting. Chilling it on stealth, yeah. Okay, sunset. I'm just going to shoot at the giant. Okay. And I don't have inspiration, so I'm not going to try the sharpshooter one. Okay. 17? Uh, that hits. Definitely wow, nice. 12. 12. Okay. And that 18, hits. 12. Ooh. 24. 12, not bad. Oh, that's good. Well done. Well done. And can I rally? Can I see? Can I give rally to Xana? Uh, She's already gone. You can't see them. You're, there's there's a building between you and them. So I think I, I have I have eight ten points. I think right from Brennan. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So if I can't see them, I know he hasn't gone this direction, but I kind of want to use the menacing thing again. <laughs> I don't want him coming this direction. Go for it. All right. I'll use the menacing the menacing attack again for six more points. Uh, okay. Uh, and then he gets and, his wisdom. Yep. Yeah. Fifteen. <laughs> he saves again. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So he's wise. He, he only he doesn't have a great wisdom, but he's just rolling good against these things. Wow. Okay. Um, uh, well, at least he gets a little extra damage against yeah, them. Get a I'm little not, bit extra damage. I I don't feel the need to move back any farther since there's not really much further to go. Okay. Um. <laughs> in that case, it's going to be the bugbears. 
Unless I go to the other side, that way I can take out the bugbears that are on that side. I don't know. I'll just stay there. Okay, the first one actually fails to grapple the second one, so he is going to get another attack. Um, but, I mean, he's not going to hit Bernane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, he does not. So that's their turn. Uh, Saberwolf. Alright, I'll just longbow the giant twice. That's all I can really do at this point. Hit. Alright, longbow plus hunter's mark is 12. Oh, not bad. Nice. Okay. And again, 14 is not enough, so... No. Alright. Um, I will move up a bit farther, just in case the giant does come our way. Um, just, okay. I'll just hang back here. All right, Santa, should. I need you to make me a constitution saving throw. You're going to take uh, four points of cold damage. And I need you to make actually another constitution saving throw. Wow. Okay. Cool, there you go. So you maintain concentration on your on your curse. That's good. Oh, interesting. Um, okay. Uh, and then it's your turn. Go ahead. Is the cantrip uh, considered a spell? Technically, yes, but in most respects, not really. What, what, what exactly are you trying to figure out? Um, in, in my inspiring performance bracelet, it says whenever a creature fails a saving throw, I regain an expended use of bardic inspiration. Ah. So, so what are you going to try to do? You want to do a minor illusion? A vis vicious mockery, maybe? That That wouldn't be an illusion, though. Or wait, actually, let me read the thing, because maybe I changed that and forgot. Hang on a second. It says... Oh, yeah, no, never mind. It doesn't have to be an illusion anymore. I did change that. Okay, yeah, so if you want to try to Vicious Mockery, that would count. Yeah, I'll try that. And it's not a con concentration spell. No. Um, That's good. Yeah, so I'll try a Vicious Mockery against the giant. That's good. It'll okay. help Renee out. Big time. Yeah. So he gets his Wisdom save against that. Let's see if he can continue his lucky streak. Second crit. <laughs> wow. Oh my no. god. Oh, no, that's a good thing for you guys. I could be oh. killing grenade in a single hit, but instead I'm saving saves against <laughs> vicious mockery. I appreciate that very much. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, so, no, I'm, unfortunately, he's unaffected by your words. All right. Damn, man. He's much too focused. Uh, right. Is there anything else you want to do? I can't do anything else. You don't have any bar bardic inspirations left? <laughs> no, that's why I had to do the vicious mockery. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Uh, the weevil cuts himself free. Uh, so he stands up and he's going to move into here and I will you know what, I'm a nice guy so I'll even let him attack. Ah, I thought he was going to slap me in the face for a second. <laughs> no, he's going to swing at the giant at his calves. <laughs> wow, he hits twice. Nice. Oh, wow. And he does a total of 14 points of damage. Holy moly. Oh, where is then? Uh, and then it's going to beat the frost giant. Attack back, lol. <laughs> okay. What should uh -oh. I do here? That that evil. <laughs> I <don't> know. <laughs> um. Okay. He is going to once again make an attack against you, Brennan. Let's see if he yeah. can hit you. Natural one. Are you joking me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this giant is. I'm critting, really I'm critting my saves and nothing else. <laughs> okay. Like one more try. Okay, so this time he, he grapples you again. He, he picks you up off the ground once more, but he can't even squeeze you just yet. He's just holding you there now. Okay. And then oh it's your turn. Goodness. Okay, so I could actually do an attack this turn. At you can, you're just going to be at disadvantage. Oh, disadvantage. Do the Game yeah. of Thrones thing. Stab him in the eye if he has you at eye level. <laughs> right? <laughs> Sure, you want to put a lady Mormon him? <laughs> Man, or not Mormon? Would... Was it Mormon? I can't remember. I don't remember. But you can attack. It'll just be a disadvantage. Or you could try to escape the grapple again. I'm trying to think what I could do. Because I have two daggers. Oh my god. You could were I... right. Don't want to stab him in the eyes. <laughs> could I, like, stick one of the daggers up his nose or something? <laughs> You can try. 
<laughs> I mean, it's a dagger, so his nostril yeah. is like huge, right? Uh, right. Well, so it's not like you're going to be able to stab him in the brain with it. Okay, um, I'm going to take Sunset's suggestion. I'm going to use my long sword and try and stab him in the eye. That wasn't okay. my suggestion. That or it nice. was was it was it dragoons? Zanus. Was it your Zanus? Zanus. Okay, my apologies. Listen to the crazy okay. lady. Uh -huh. So make an attack <laughs> with disadvantage. <laughs> All right. In fact, you could do it twice with your with your extra attack. Extra attack. Okay. I scream up. First one's a myth. Okay, so okay. that was a thirteen. What's yeah. four? Was yeah. That? Okay. And one more. There you go. Okay. okay, that's a hit. Nice. All right. Six. So okay. have I have I blinded him at all, or is he? <laughs> he's a one-eyed um, giant now. Tickles his cornea. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he'll he'll make a Constitution saving throw. We'll see what happens. All right. <laughs> okay, twenty-one. Okay. So you definitely scratched his eye. You didn't okay. blind him, but you've definitely uh, done some damage to his eye there. Uh, all right. So his cornea is still intact, apparently. Mm -hmm. Yes. All he right. thought it was eye drops. <laughs> He has to okay. an action to pull out eye drops, and <laughs> he has to roll a fifteen to hit the eye. Right. Um... <laughs> okay, so Zana, um, you're already uh, you're already rallied by me, so I can't. Well, yeah. Well, you can't rally us. You can huh? rally Weevil. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I could rally Weevil, but uh, he's why? He's grabbed you now. He's going to squeeze you probably twice on the next turn and do some d decent damage. How's your health looking? It's it's okay. I'm at okay. 20 I'm at 23. That might be enough to knock you out. I would do a second win if you have it. I I already used it. Um, yeah, we only have and, one time. Yeah. Uh, and he's okay. he's not, he's not so, in my vision to see, so I can't even rally him. Okay. Yeah, so that's that ends my turn. Okay. Dragon. <laughs> All right. This time since I'm stealed, I actually have <laughs> Hopefully, I can hit my shot. <laughs> All right. Although, it's probably not going to. I certainly knowing hope my, so. I'm knowing my luck. <laughs> oh, long bow it up. See what happens. My luck it, today has been terrible. There you go. Uh, Ooh, there you crit. go. That's a crit. Wait, which, it doesn't my... Um, that's a crit. That's bonus damage. Just hit your long bow. There you go. So... Ooh. Oh, my lord. That's 20. tasty. 34 points of damage. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Well, okay. nice. he's definitely in rough shape. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then right, uh, so something. I can move. No, I can. Okay. Move yeah. Move. Go ahead. I can move and do my bonus. So I can move and then stealth because of my bonus, right? Yes. Okay. Should I move more back, or should I start like moving? Well, you figure oh. that out. Sunset can do her thing. All right. I'm gonna hit him twice. Nice. Okay, first one's a hit. Good. 15. Nice. Beautiful. Not bad. That's a great Second roll. One, 15? Uh, 15 is enough. Ooh. 10. He okay. is a big old target for you. Okay. Sweet. Uh, the um, bugbears. Uh, yep. And yeah, you could. Sorry. Is there anything no, else you want to do? No, well, I'm not going to move, and he's not in my sight to rally, so I guess I'm okay. good. Okay. Okay. Uh, Bugbears, the first one is going to try to crackle the second one again. <laughs> uh, let's see. So that versus that. Yep, he successfully grapples him. Yes. Oh, why? <laughs> I love this curse. Lord have mercy on me. <laughs> I, know, yes, curse. I love it um, when it's not used on me. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Use and it. then you and me both. It is safe for All right. I will long go right. twice. Curse. All right. All right. Who's. Nice. Zana, do it. it. All right. Um, Zana, put, put the giant on. Seven. <laughs> seven, not bad. All right. Longbow again. That's a hit. Wow. Seven. Nice. Uh, seven twelve. And twelve. Okay. Nineteen. Yeah. Okay. Is he looking rough? He just got to be at death rough. door. All right. Um, um, that's it for me. <laughs> okay, Zana, I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Did I make you do that on your turn? By the way, I might mm -hmm. have forgot for you, Renee. Yeah, no, he got it. He... he did, yeah. Or oh, you did. Okay, sorry. I'm yeah, just... yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was, I was grappled. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So go ahead and make your Constitution saving throw, Zana. Okay. And another one. Uh, yes. So you're going to take uh six points of cold damage. Okay. And you still managed to pass the um the Constitution saving or the uh, the concentration check. Wow. Okay. So that's good. Nice. 
I'm gonna. Um, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no. Go ahead. You, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm gonna use um, my magic missiles on the giant. Yeah. Blow okay. Um, I can use. Um, I think it was six charges. Was it? Uh, well, you that? used one, so if you use six, you're going to be using all the charges on it. I meant five. Okay. Is it five? Okay. <laughs> so you're going to... It's one, two, three, and then uh, one, two, three, four. So it's a total of seven char uh, seven hits. Is it? I mean, the um, first one is three hits, and then after that, it's... If you've got five left, it's four more. So it's one, two, three for the first one, and then for the remaining four charges, it's one roll each. Yeah, so three more seven. Seven so three more missiles. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So one more. One more. Okay, so four, six, eight. Oh, a lot of damage. This is a 24. Spiral, spiral stairs all over again. 24. And you kill him. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. Die. finally. I feel like we should probably take care of the, the bugbears, though. <laughs> Oh, let's finish them. <laughs> so unfair. I was just about to crush Bernadine and throw him at the rest of you guys. I believe it. Let go, my I totally friend. believe it. <laughs> make a make an a, uh, athletics check, Bernadine, as you fall to the ground with the giant. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Nick's mad. He's trying to get as much damage. <laughs> right, I'm going to get my last bit of damage, okay? Uh, let's check. Nice. <laughs> All right. There you go. He yeah, use my mage hand. hand to catch him. <laughs> no, you already cast a spell. Dang it. All right. He fell All on right. top. Right. You take eight points of falling damage. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. take> that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. And then it's going to be uh, the weevil. Um. He did literally nothing. He's going to start to run. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we should probably chase after him. And then it's Brene your turn. Okay. Um, okay, well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Whisper to uh, tell the Weevil so he won't be able... I mean, you know, we'll know where he's going to go. Cause oh! Um, clever, actually. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to try... I'm going to try and throw a dagger at him just to... I'm gonna try and throw it at his feet. I mean, not his feet. His uh, his legs. His oh, the weevil. Yeah, the weevil. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll allow it. Running. Yeah. So let's do that. So it would just be just like a regular attack, or do I have to make a? Athletic? There should be like a thrown dagger option on your character sheet. Okay. Oh no, because you added in the cultist dagger. Just oh, I did. So yeah, just I make did. a regular attack with it. That's fine. Okay. Sixteen. I don't know. Uh, that hits. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, so five. Okay, and you know what? I'm just going to do ground, a, or... a little dex check for him to see if you can keep his balance. Okay. Okay, he falls prone. Nice. Oh. Nice. Okay, <laughs> and then I'm gonna I'm gonna rush up to him. I mean, we're, oh, we're still in combat, right? Yes. Okay. Well, you can those... you can get to him though. Yeah, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and move um, directly adjacent to him. And I have rope in my inventory. Can I use that as my action to lasso him up and tie him up again? Uh, not on this turn. Just, not on this turn. Because okay. you already did your attack. and your, Yeah, so... Okay, so I'll just, I'll, like... I'll your bonus action, you could take out the rope and prepare to uh, to tie him up, even though... I think we okay. use your length. Your rope should be inside the... It's okay. That's fine. Um... Okay, uh, drag on. Kill the bugbears. Okay. Preferably the one. Well, I have to move first because I can't. I am. But stuck they're lovers. Yeah. <laughs> they're lovers. <laughs> They'll die in each other's arms. Yeah, I'll be shooting through a building. I have to move first, but I am stealth, so I'm still stealth. So that'd be so sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I could move thirty-five feet and then shoot. I'm right, we'll gonna do it. So, let's see. I'm going to move probably down here. Do I have to roll for stealth or no? Because I'm still technically stealth, but... Uh, you're fine, yeah. Because they're, they're so... Enthralled um, with each other. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Do I gain advantage? Probably not. No. Yeah, because uh, yeah, you're stealth. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay, there you go. Is that actually how that works? If I'm stealth, I gain advantage? 
Yes, I, I'm a little bit nicer than most DMs about how you can stealth because I don't think most would allow you to just stealth every single turn, <laughs> but I'll allow it. As long as it's reasonable, I think it's okay. There you go. You hit someone. Nice. Which That's one are you attacking, Benny? The bottom one? Um, Which one's the full health? They, they both are. Full. I would I would do with the one that's not charmed. Or the I one... think the curse yeah, the curse one takes double attack damage, right? No. No. Ten. I right. could be wrong, but I've never heard that before. The bottom mm -hmm. one. All right, so roll your damage then. Oh, ten plus right. ten. twenty points of damage. Good. He's still alive, but he's hurt real bad. So okay. You find you, the arrow goes right between two ribs and sticks into his vital organs. Uh, okay, sunset. Okay, question. So if I use my um, my double move thing, my cat agility thing, mm -hmm. and I end up here, oh, can we do it right there, basically at the end? Can I shoot this one and pin him to the ground? The weevil. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Sure, why not? Let's try it. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> this poor guy's he's not gonna be able to walk again. <laughs> so basically before I'm not going to aiming to damage him, I'm aiming him to pin him to the ground. Yeah, that's fair. Right. Sure. Wow. You're just trying to I mean it's gonna do some damage to him. I'm but... gonna have to do uh, that's probably not a hit to thirteen. That's correct. So I'll try it again. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Brad rolls. Bad. I don't. Well, that, you didn't give me any inspiration. I don't have any. Um. That's a natural one. So you actually shoot, one. whisper, and kill it. Are you no. serious? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my! Oh, God. He's really salty about that giant right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then the arrow travels through whisper and, whisper and, whisper and, whisper and hits Brennan in the head. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And then bounces off a tree and kills Anna. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well. Don't scare me like that. Uh, uh, magic bullet, JFK. The only time I'm not good with my rolls, seriously. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so, um, the so bugbears are going to still be grappling each other. Let's see. Okay, he breaks free from the grapple. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't, know any, I don't even know what they would do at this point. <laughs> so he's just going to walk up to you, Zan. He's going to take a swing at you, okay? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> okay. He rolls a six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these bugbears are thinking about us, Paramore. They, they used to be, you know, when we when you were fighting them in uh, in yeah, the first campaign, they, they, they were scary. They were scary, right? Not so much anymore. Now they're a joke. Uh, all right, <laughs> no, Sam, I'm, Wolf, you're up. I'm so scared of them. They're a backhanded comment. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so thirty feet is all I can do. Um... Technically, I'd be shooting through a building, I think. Unless, is it disadvantage if I shoot up and over? Or how does that work? Um, no, I, I think just because the angle. Okay. Well, if you want to, sh if you want to arc it, sh uh, uh, no, I'm gonna say no. I, right, I don't want to. That, that's, that's fine. That's... I'll move. I'll just move another thirty feet then, and uh, so I guess yeah, Xana, go ahead and move. I'll, I just I'm gonna move thirty feet, and that's that. Okay. All right, Xana, you're up. You got. An angry bugbear, so <laughs> and then a very happy bugbear behind him. So it says, while the target is cursed, your attacks and spells will deal an extra necrotic damage. Is that only like oh. like when you do damage to it? Like when you do actual necrotic damage to it, then it takes extra necrotic damage. Is that what well, it means? while it while it's cursed by you, your spells and attacks do extra damage to it, not not your party. Uh, so you uh, you would do extra damage to it. Would she keep concentration on it if she attacked it? Uh, if as long as it wasn't another concentration spell, yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, man, hideous laughter is a concentration spell. Yeah, it is. Dang. So is blindness, deafness. No, wait, no, it's not. Well, you... No, blindness, deafness is not. Hmm. Or should I do vicious mockery? <gasps> uh, I'll do. I'll just do. I'll just do vicious mockery on it. Okay. He's going to get his constitution save, or I'm sorry, his wisdom saving throw. Uh, and he... He what? He crits. Oh, <laughs> wow. Are you kidding me? Wow. <laughs> I've crit two con or saving throws against your vicious mockery, and I can't hit Brennan. <laughs> <laughs> I giggle a little. But he, 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 does, he does succeed, unfortunately. That's okay. <laughs> that okay. makes me laugh. 
And that's going to be Weevil's turn. Uh, he's got a dagger in his foot, but he is prone. Um, he's going to use half his movement to stand and then try to hobble away. Uh, Brennan, you can get an opportunity attack, and I'll even say that you could use it to try to grapple him if you want, okay? I would like to do that. I'll try and grapple him. All right, so go ahead and just make a uh, athletics or yeah, an athletics check. Okay. And then he is going to try to resist it. Thirteen will probably be resisted. <laughs> no. Oh. He rolls really badly, an eight. So no. you are able to grab onto him, and you have oh, him nice. grappled. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to try to make out with him, though. Are you sure? He's a <laughs> quite attractive dwarf. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, um, looks weird. Looks all right. Just... It's your turn. So if you want, I'll allow you to start tying the ropes around him now that you have him grappled. Yes, uh, I have a uh, rope in my pack. I'd like to um, I'd like to tie him up. Well, okay. you know, last time up, tie him up, yeah. That's fine. Uh, anything you want to do with Whisper? Or just, he's just flying in the air above you. You know what? I'm going to have Whisper... Yeah, I'm going to have him go above this tree here. So I'm going to move him over here. Just to get okay. him out of harm's way. Um, do yes. I still get an attack or anything? Or, uh, uh, you know, that was my action, right? So Your I'm action gonna... is to tie him up. If you want to attack him instead, you can. No, no, I, okay. I don't want to do that. Okay, that's it. Okay, Dragon. Okay, well, since he's this one's next to Sunset, I do have sneak attack. Xana. You mean Xana? Xana. Whoever. Yep, you, you, you won't have advantage, but you'll have sneak attack, yes. Yeah. All right, go for it. Character sheet. I'm there. There That's a hit. Thank okay. You. And you kill him. Nice. Nice. Yeah. nice. As that happens, the other bugbear cries out in anguish as his lover is killed. <laughs> he goes into a rage and grows six times his size. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you made Hulk angry, I see. Oh, that would be very bad. Oh my god, that would be However, amazing. at this point, the curse will end, considering he can no longer yep. force, you know, uh, do the he curse. Could, well, he could, could make out with the little... little... No. Okay, I'll do. There's got to be a line somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I am drawing that line. All right, Sunset, it's your turn. Oh, well, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna move. But... Move thirty feet over here to see if it's in my sight, which is right there. Can you see him? I think it's technically around the building now. Oh my gosh! Really? So I'm just gonna use my turn to do another dash, I guess. Dash, okay, move, sure. That, yep. To move and not do anything? Yeah, that'll take your action, unfortunately. But you'll get yeah, I know. in position for At the next least, turn. So, like, right here, because that should put me in position. Yep. Not and uh, I'll pictures. just say, Pony, you should be ashamed. That's all I'm going to say about that. Agreed. Just say it. Uh, about what? <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I can't even... Yeah, my um, turn's over. Yeah, that puts him in sight. But you know what? He will. Uh, he's not going to fly into a rage, but he's going to charge at you, Drogon, as you were the one that attacked his lover. <laughs> and he'll take a swing at you with his Morning Star. Oh, he actually hit. They actually hit 20. Um, so you're going to take 10 points of damage. Okay. Well, you can have that, by the way, with your reaction. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so five points of damage, and then it'll be Saber Wolf your turn. Hunters, take him out! Hunter's Mark <laughs> over to him. Yep. All right, uh, longbow twice. Let's see. That's a hit. Uh, plus that is 11. 11, not bad. And then... Another hit. Nice. They've around 40. Plus, it's another 11, so 22 total. Okay, he's alive, but barely. Oh, sorry. Did he sunset it? 30, 35. Close. Come on, sunset. I want to crit another vicious mockery saving throw. <laughs> 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 you just call me Sunset. Did I? I did I? Yes, you did. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah. I'm sorry. Come I'm on, Tabitha. Make sword. your turn. Do your vicious mockery. <laughs> okay. I yes. want to do a new cat. major illusion and have a bugbear. No, wait. Where is it? Where's that oh other bugbear? Oh my god. 
Yes, yeah, like, to a duplicate of his his friend make an illusion to see if he sees it. <laughs> what do it? A, a, major, a, a, a major illusion, a have it come out of here, have it have makeup with a rolling pin, and have it come out and be like, I saw you kissing, you know, this other book there. <laughs> That's so mean, I thought I was the one. <laughs> wow. Did you say a rolling pin? What? Yeah. Gonna make like out with the rolling glasses. Pin? He's got curlers in his in his yeah. hair, in his fur. You got a, a kiss the coke me. apron. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else you want to do? Yeah, and it like runs towards him. It runs towards him. Yeah, okay. a little bit. Not, you know not what? completely, but a little. We'll just give him like a, a, a. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He thinks it's real. So for that, you can get an inspiration back if you Yay! want. You can trick them with, the, with your illusion. Wow. Um, okay, Weevil is restrained. Um, and I think he, judging by <laughs> Brenane's, uh What is for? I don't know. Anyways, he's he's just restrained, and uh, he's not even going to fight back at this point. I think he knows that he's beat, or he's caught. Um Renane still tying him up, I assume? Yeah. Um, is he fully tied up now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'd like to uh, hoist him onto my shoulders. <laughs> and I'm going to... I'm just going to go ahead and move... Um, uh, I'm going to move... Uh, I'm going to move towards Santa, so I'll move... I'll just move right here. And just have okay. him with me. I'll, he'll be on my shoulders. No problem. That's it. That's all I can really do. So. All right, Drogon. I'll tell you what, Oops. and we're not going to make this a full precedence, but I'm going to say that because this illus <laughs> this illusory bugbear behind him is standing next to him, you can get your sneak attack if you attack him. Because oh, <laughs> nice. it is definitely threatening him, I would say that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I will, okay, oh, I'll short sword. Since All I'm right. Yeah. You should have advantage. That's a definite hit. You get your sneak attack. I think you got him. And mm -hmm. you kill him. <laughs> oh man, good job! Sad. And we are officially out of combat. Wow. That was absolute said, madness. Do we still hear the the townspeople in trouble? Yes, there's still a battle going on at the front of the uh, keep. Yes. Can we see from here what kind of battle it is? Yes. Of what they're fighting? I, you guys aren't going to be. Actually, you might. Hang on a second. Let me let me figure this out. Yeah. Is it one of those large scale battles again? Yes. Okay. So you guys aren't on this. Here, let me just show you what it looks like at least. So, um, mm -hmm. so you guys are here now. Not all of these combatants are alive right now. The battle has been raging for a bit, but this is essentially what you see. Oh no! Uh, I don't think we're well equipped for this. Uh, where are the so, guards at? At this point, like. At Thank least you. half of these goblins are dead, probably more. And you see these these uh, ogres here? They have these strange contraptions on them. It's almost like a um, like this metallic um, like arm, essentially. This huge metallic arm on that's mounted to their backs. And you see goblins climbing on top and getting to the top of the arm. And then the, the ogre pulls like a lever and it just sends him shooting into the air oh and he, he bashes <laughs> into like right. the wall. The goblin is actually like clad in like all of these this like spiky armor including a helmet with spikes all over it and wow. they're just sort of sacrificing themselves as they get launched into the wall oh. and you see that the guards at two and you notice this when you walked into the keep they have these large ballista at the top of the uh, the gatehouse that they're firing in and destroying goblins and even hitting the uh, the ogres and the hobgoblins as well. Um, they actually seem like they're they're holding their own. The 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 assault hasn't made any progress and they're stalling out. Can a bardic inspire them? Well, we're not even over there. Yeah, yeah you guys are way way in the back. This is just what's going on from. But like, didn't you say that the, the gate was locked? Yeah. What? What do you mean the gate? The gate you is locked. The, the you you locked. said the gate was locked. The back gate. Yes. You locked us in. I don't what? Know, I don't understand. Need your what you're help? I'm not sure what you're saying. Yeah, what are you talking you about? You locked us in. Yeah. Yes, the gate is closed in the back, yes. That's what I'm saying. It's but, not like we can just leave. 
Well, I'm okay. sure we can bust out if we had to. Or climb yeah. over the wall. Or climb Should the walls we... or... I... Or go... Isn't that the thing in the middle, the magic thing that we can teleport? Um, where are we at? Uh, no, Xanthar's Keep doesn't have a magic fast travel. Yeah. So... And, and I'll, I'll tell you what, just to sort of speed things forward, if you guys want to approach the, the front where all the guards are and they're defending... Um, you know, you you can sort of watch and just see that they're 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 holding off this assault, and it's almost like the the force that you guys had just beaten was designed to come around the back and flank them and basically destroy them and open the gates. Um, so without that extra force, they're holding they're holding off the assault from the front. The, this uh -huh. this keep was designed for this kind of like siege sort of uh, defense. Oh, would you like to join the fray, gentlemen and ladies? I, I think ladies we should lick our wounds and. I mean, if they've got things in hand, I'd say we we yeah. get out of here. And, and to continue fast forwarding, eventually the 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 uh, invading force realizing that their reinforcements are not coming, they will retreat. So you guys, okay, will see them all just disappear. Uh, well, then, do we get? Uh, is there any loot on that giant? Yes. So let me uh, move you back there first. I'd like Which to uh, right place. I'd like to extract some giant's teeth because I hear they're pretty valuable. Giant's teeth. Giant's teeth. teeth. Yep. Yeah. Is that is that possible? You could try. Sure. Okay, I'd um, like to try. We should probably scout all the bodies. Yes. <laughs> uh, so yes, between the the bugbears all have a small coin pouch on them, and the giant also has a massive uh, coin pouch as well as another pouch that's filled with, um, basically. <laughs> Here, let's see. I'm supposed to roll every time that you guys defeat a giant, so let's see. Um, let's see, I'll roll two times. Oh, that's disgusting. So, you guys find a giant-sized shabby cloak made out of wool. Oh. As well as a live pig, a live pig <laughs> in this okay. in this giant's gigantic. <gasps> Can I pouch. keep it as the pet? Don't we have a chicken? <laughs> yeah, you found a chicken, chicken on the last one. I rolled a fifty-seven twice, I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we we could be friends. <laughs> Whatever happened to that chicken? Do, do I? Have, does someone we still have the chicken? It. We still have it. Did nice. you guys like want to turn it into like the meal that you were going to give it to the? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, we did. You could still have the meal that we poisoned our own. We're gonna no, I'll start we our did. own farm. We put dragon yeah. meat on that. It's... We no, used we the dra meat. yeah. We used the dragon meat for the poison stuff. We still have the chicken. We're go we're gonna start our own little farm together thing. Yeah, I love it. Pig and chicken. Chicken. So <laughs> who is searching the giant? Uh, well, me, because I'm I'm trying to get oh, some yeah. teeth as well. I mean, you could search, too, if you want. Too. <laughs> well, who's who's taking the, the, the coin pouch, is what I'm trying to ask. We're going to split it anyway. Take that? Yeah. Doesn't okay. Matter. So it yeah. doesn't matter. So whoever, whoever opens up the gold pouch, um, as you do, um, some of the gold spills out onto the ground. Oh. And one rolls and bumps right into your foot, Brenane, almost as if it was, like, attracted to you somehow. Interesting. And you look down at it, and it's not a gold dragon like the rest are. Oh. The rest of them are. Uh-huh. It's a different coin. Oh. Uh. What happens you, if... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. You pick it up, and you inspect it. And okay. on the face is the image of Taimora, the goddess of good fortune. Oh, my gosh! Okay. That and was you uh... find that it is a magical coin. Oh wow, my prayer mm -hmm. paid off. Wow. Wow. Um, could I do like a perception? Oh, never mind. It says what it does here. Yeah. So if you roll <laughs> a natural one on a d twenty, they may roll another d twenty. So basically, it, if you roll really badly with a one, you can roll again. Wow. But you can use that That's... once per dawn next on once, once basically once on. a day okay yeah. once a day okay um nice well it was your your contribution there so you should have the coin i i think yep are you sure 
Yeah, I mean, why? Be? Okay, all right. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll... <laughs> <laughs> There's that net bad one. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Don't, I can picture Zeke. Nick is gonna give her the unlucky coin. So I, I wouldn't <laughs> That would make such for a great story. Mm. It'd be a sleight of hand check to try to snatch it from his hand. <laughs> That's so funny. Poor All right. <laughs> wow. Alright, and it, you do a uh, perception to see if you notice her coming for you to try to grab it from you. <laughs> Hilarious. You're really okay. gonna steal? Oh wow! Well. I'm uh, not gonna steal it. I was gonna bite into it, make sure it's real, and then give it back. But to what him. if you ruin the curse? 48. Oh wow! <laughs> okay, I'm so you definitely soldier. see her coming. <laughs> so it's, it's up to you. <laughs> it's up to you if you want to try to stop her or, or if you allow her to grab it from your hand. Not I'm gonna out. allow her to grab it with her hand. Oh I'll, man! I'll allow it. Don't do anything to break it. You just saying. Just yeah, to me. yeah, don't. Yeah. Yeah. She, she fumbles it and breaks it. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things because Zan is in the party. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, so what happens now? So she, so, she has her coin, or I just bit yeah. on it. Just <laughs> she it takes real. the coin, she bites on it, and she says, "Oh, this is definitely real." And hands it back to you, as far as I can tell, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I'll, I'll Time say, thank will you, tell then. if that did anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's oh awesome. boy. Goodbye. All right. It breaks uh, my one of my loot strings. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Can't leave well enough alone. Performance check will like be like minus one. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. So I just um, I just add it to my backpack. Yeah. That, you or, now okay. have this this lucky coin on you. Um, okay. As for the rest, um, other than the the pig <laughs> and the the oversized cloak, you guys find collectively among all of the uh, enemies here. About three hundred and ten gold pieces. Nice. Right, so divided by five, it's sixty-two each. Can I cut off its eyeball? Like, can I gouge it out? Why? Sure. I don't Why? Know, just in case to intimidate someone, you know. <laughs> to add sure. To your head collection. Yeah. Exactly. All right. So this I giant just... head is bigger than Xana. <laughs> yeah. I, I. That's. Yeah. I figured. So I just want the, <laughs> the eyeball. eyeball is like massive to you. Yeah, like a soccer ball. <laughs> <laughs> it's the size of the head. I <laughs> one, one of a human giant. Did we get XP? Yes. Yes, XP and uh, dragon's teeth. Dragon's uh, so teeth? for this fight, you guys are going to get uh, one thousand and fifty experience points. Wow. All right. Let me 1, see what that would be. One thousand fifty. Eight five zero. So it's eighteen thousand nine hundred. Yeah. Let's say eighteen hundred, nine hundred. Eighteen thousand nine hundred. So how do we um how do we uh, extract the giant's teeth? Is that sort of like a automatic thing or? Uh just give me like a. Uh, give me a strength check. Okay. Great strength. Strength, strength, strength. Team. Wow. Do I get one? Uh, sure. Nice. Yeah, I might as well. It's this it. crocodile dentist. <laughs> oh, we got no because oh, the dragon <laughs> things that we got money for. Crocodile dentist. <laughs> okay, so you guys both. Uh, Sunset and Brenane both pull out uh, either of his gigantic canines, canines. fangs, and so two, uh, two canines each or uh, one each. One each. Okay. And you notice that they are yellowed and gross, but um, also extremely cold. Oh, but you think yes. that that will pass as uh, as they, you know, warm up from the natural surroundings. That cloak that he dropped, is it magical in any way, do we notice? Or is it just a No, regular? just, a, just okay. a regular gigantic wool cloak. Or, I'm sorry. I wish yeah. I could wear it. <laughs> oh, it's gotta be so itchy. Be could like... you imagine Xana trying to lug around giant's cloak? <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> She wears it, it just covers her head. We I wouldn't be, be able it. to drag it. <laughs> How heavy is it? Can we, like, loot it and then sell it later? Is it too heavy? It's not terribly heavy. It's just more bulky than anything. Okay. Um, do we... But yeah, you... Do we get the sense that it's ex it's it would be worth no. anything? Okay. No. Okay. It's it's nasty. Okay. Oh, Fair well. enough. I was gonna say, can I sleep on it while they drag me in the cloak? <laughs> Think I'm <laughs> you <drown>. could <laughs> wow. That's make a though. hammock. We have to like. No, I'd rather sleep. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Someone will fan her while two people carry her in the hammock. 
<laughs> Feed me grapes there. Where do we have to take him back to? The tide guy? I'd say Xanthar Keep. Oh, no, not Mirabar. Yartar. Oh, Yartar. Yartar. Okay. What's the way to the, the tide sweep? I'm sorry. What's that? I was wondering what the weight of the giant's tooth is because I'm getting a error message. So oh, I, I uh, the... let's say uh, like two pounds. Okay, how do I enter that? Um, or or do I just add it? Because I, I I think I added it. Yeah, I I think I added it into a slot where an armor item once was. So. Oh. You might have. I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Okay, so you said two, right? Okay, so maybe this will help. Okay. Okay. No. So, how are we um, doing on as, time? It's four. We still have an hour. Okay. So as the battle subsides in the front, and the uh, the forces retreat into the into the uh, the hills in the distance, um, you guys see that uh, you know the guards begin getting back to their posts and some of them see that you know the, the the corpses around you guys and they say uh did you do that of course we did yes impressive we we would have been blindsided if these guys got through well that's what we're here for <laughs> i hear it was a slice of this why would giants <laughs> attack a town like this it seems suicidal what was Asim saying anything about the name? What was the name? Um, it was Armin Smiper, Simber, Cyper. That was Cinder, Cinder, Simber, Kimber. Oh my God! What was Arm his name? Armin Kimber. Armchair. Uh... <laughs> Cinder. Cinder. Kinder. It was like Armaeus. C i n d a r. There we go. Amadeus. Uh... Armaeus. <laughs> Armaeus oh, chair. Oh, Armaeus. <laughs> Something Simber, because it was almost climber. Armaeus Armaeus. Armaeus, Armaeus. Armaeus, Armaeus, So, yeah, who is... They Rock were looking Armaeus. for someone named Armaeus Simber. Uh, is there someone here named Armaeus Simber? Artist. Mm. Artist. What was his name? Artist. It's Armaeus Simber. Hmm. Artist Simber. I was reading. I was mistakenly reading <laughs> Nev's post. <laughs> I didn't see yours. Artist Simber. But even still, the two guards look at each other and say, "Can't say I heard of him, but we can get the word out." That's what they're looking for. They want. They want someone named Artist Simber. Why would they come here for a single man? It seems unusual. Either way, we appreciate you with the the work you've done here and. Protecting the the keep as we have. Three nights stay. Well, Milk. we we do have a uh, a prisoner. Would it be safe to long rest in an inn here while we had a prisoner? I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah, yeah, you can keep him. Uh, okay. Bound as you sleep uh, over the can night. Can we get but... some inn vouchers? <laughs> yeah, I'm sleep free for the night. <laughs> He says, hang on a second, he reaches into a pocket and takes out, like, this spool of a ticket, <laughs> and he rips Aww. off, like, six of them, and he's like, here you go. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, I say we long rest here and recover mm -hmm. health and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, please. Okay, so you guys can stay at the, actually, the inn of the stables that you, and as you go in there, the innkeeper <laughs> definitely has some questions about what you're doing with his stable hand. Um, but you guys are able to explain, I'm sure. Um, you know, the situation that he's a wanted man and he admitted it and she allows you to stay at the uh, the dancing orc as it's called. The dancing orc. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, <laughs> prancing pony, dancing orc. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, you guys could stay there overnight. Awesome. So I guess um, everyone heal up cool. then. I did. I went so back to 45. Any uh, superiority dice and spell slots, too? Yeah, I need to put those back up. Now, wow. you guys awake crazy. in the morning, and who who would typically be, like, the first person to wake up in your party, do you think? Not me, me. I'm a cat. Well, I'm, I'm an early riser. Or me. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I well, my cat's in. up at, like, five every morning, so, you know. 
<laughs> yep, same here. I usually wake up super sunset. early. I usually wake up super early and then I'll go back to sleep. <laughs> right. Okay, well, so up. we'll say. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm just saying I'm up. Okay. We'll we'll say that. Uh, sunset, Saberwolf, and Dragon. You guys wake up early in the morning and head down to sort of the uh, the more tavern side of the uh, the inn where they're serving breakfast. Um. And as you do, you see that there's a human standing there, uh, and he actually sees you come down and approaches. And he says, you're the ones who spoke to the frost giants that invaded yesterday? We are. Yes. Yes. He said that that, that he was looking for artist Simber, right? Yes. Or Kimber? Do you know it's him? Kimber, sorry. He says, he's, he's my father. Mm. I see. And <gasps> what does your father do? He's, I've only been told, I've never met him. You see, I was orphaned as a child, but I received some correspondence from his friends in Waterdeep, and they explained to me that he is my father, and he disappeared some time ago. Um, but I am his son, and I, I don't know why they think he's here. I've never met him. But he is my father. Interesting. Okay. So, do you know what your father did as a profession? I mean, I know that you're orphaned and don't know him very well, but do you have any vague ideas to what he was into? Any sort of magical profession? Uh, they just, I, I, the, the people who, who wrote me the letter from Waterdeep, they, they say he was an adventurer like you guys. Did he take an arrow in the knee? Uh, long I was time about ago. to say it. I was so about to say it. Hi, Kane. I was like, don't say it. Don't say it. Hi. Maybe his father's half giant. No? Maybe his father's says, half giant. So who are you I don't... Then? I mean, uh, what do you do? My my name is Sirak. Uh, I'm just a simple farmer here. I but I fear that... However... The giants determined that my father was here. They must have somehow mistaken me for him. I'm not sure, but I feel as though I'm in great danger here. And if they can continue to track me, I may never be safe. Can you head to another major city such as uh, Waterdeep or someplace with more defenses that would be able to protect you? Uh, yes, that is that is my plan. I mean, the... The frost giants, they come from the north, so I'm just going to keep traveling south as far as I can go. But I want to speak to you guys just to understand what happened. I mean, how is it possible? I just don't understand. I see. Do you know where we might find your... I mean, did the letters say where your father might be or where he was last seen? No. As far as I know, nobody knows where he is. But his friend, the one who, who wrote me when I was a child... uh. You can find him in Waterdeep. He 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 lives. Uh, he's he's one of the the Roaring Horns. Okay, what was his name? Uh, in case we'd like to speak to him. Yes, of course, of course. Uh, uh his name is Lord Zalraun Roaring Horn. I'll type that for you guys. Okay, <laughs> that's uh. We're gonna butcher that too. That's a very butchered. <laughs> wait, name. wait! I want to try to type it myself. Zalraun Roaring Horn. <laughs> Lord Zordon. Yeah. Lord <laughs> Zordon. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was close. Um, you could try to speak to him. He might have more details, but as far as I could tell from his letter, he had lost contact with my father I see. many years ago and is unable to locate him. Okay. Um, all right. Does anyone have any other questions for this guy? Because I don't know what else to ask him. Do you think have... his father's a demon worshipper? Are you asking him that? I don't know. I'm not awake yet. <laughs> That's true. I'm not either. <laughs> I'm getting my beauty rest, man. <laughs> okay. I mean, do you guys have any any other questions you want to ask him or anything like that? Not. I mean, he doesn't seem to know very much. So no. Um, unless he's got any other information that would help us locate his father. Um. And if he was orphaned and he's never met his father, then he can't really know too much. Does he know anything about the Magister family? 
No. Hmm. We could take him to the Magister family. <laughs> Just as, as a that's, sacrifice. That's messed up. Yeah, come with us. <laughs> come with us. You'll be safe here. Oh, you safe. Oh, it perfectly. <laughs> no. Oh man, that's perfect. Oh, that's it then. It does very well. I, I plan to leave now. I'm just gonna, maybe catch a boat, head as far south as I can. I would. Okay. All right. And he, he leaves. Okay. Um, should I have done any sort of insight check to see if he was telling the truth? No. Is it too late for that's too late. It's fine. If you want to, you can. I'll allow it. That's I fine. don't think it really matters. Um, <laughs> he probably was telling the truth. Yeah, forget it. Um, yeah, that <laughs> nine's not gonna. I can try if you want. It's up to you. I, I, I think he was telling try. the truth, but there's no reason to lie about that. Yeah, you you don't seem to feel like you get any sort of bad vibes from him or anything like that. He just seems scared. Gotcha. All right. So, um, <laughs> so I guess right, we have then... to deliver the dwarf to um, Mirabar, right? Mabwa. That's or correct. Yartar. 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 Oh yeah, Yartar. <laughs> yeah, true. Yartar. Okay. Hello. Uh, here we go, Yartar. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, so okay. can we see the map real quick? Yes. Do, 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 do. So, I'm so confused. I thought the fast travel was in this town, and that's why we were there. No, we went to Mar Mirabar first. Or, we... Oh. Uh, hang on, I'm sorry. Before I, before we go on... Sorry, it is Mirabar, not Yartar. You're supposed to deliver him to oh. Mirabar. I, I was getting mixed up, my bad. Yep, no worries. We mm -hmm. were so in you guys Xanthros are currently... Keep. Yeah, we're yep. at Xanthros Keep. And we just need to head north to Maribar to deliver him. So, I say we just go go north. Yeah, and that'll be perfect because then we go to Yar. What's that? We're going to Yartar. Well, you want Yartar? There's nothing in Yartar, right? Where, no. where are we at? We're at Xanthros Keep, Xanthros right here. Keep. And we're going to go and to Maribar. Maribar is where we need to go to deliver the dwarf. And there, there's also a uh, Harper hideout there where you can use one of the, uh, Fast the teleportation circles. We yeah. could go yeah. to Everland or whatever from there. There we go, yes. Okay. We need to go back to that one place with the magic items. Or a place that is. Where was um, Bernane's dagger at? Uh, the one. Uh, well, he hasn't spoken to yeah. anybody. Uh, oh, you right. have to have him yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, so I guess we'll head from Xanthros Keep North to Mirabar. Okay. With our prisoner in tow. Um, the trip is uh, fine. You can make it there without any buddy attacking you or anything like that. And you return to Mirabar. Now, I don't know how much you guys remember, but it's basically the two cities. There's the right. human village on the top, and then dug into the mountain itself is another city um, of dwarves. Okay. I would love to live here. Well, can right. we find a nearby constable's office or the equivalent so we can deliver this prisoner? Sure. Um, you can You can ask a guard and he will direct you to the Hall of the Axe which is in, inside the Dwarven city um, which uh, acts as the headquarters of the guards as well as the prison. Alright. Um, okay, we head there. Let's go okay. there. Okay. Uh, you head there. Um... There is a dwarven man sitting at a desk as you walk in. He looks up at you um, expectantly as you walk in. All right. I'll be back. Hello. Uh, we've got this prisoner that we'd like to give you. Um, his name is the Weevil. And we hear that there is a reward of 5,000 gold pieces to anyone that uh, captures and delivers him. He reaches under the desk and pulls out this large book and sort of plops it onto the table. Dust flies everywhere as it slams, and then he's flipping it open and he starts like looking through with his finger running down the pages. He says, "Ah, uh, yes, very well. Uh, you can speak to uh, Earthrig Alebrow, who will uh, who will take the prisoner. Uh, I guess I should do my door voice." You can speak to <laughs> Earthrig Elbrow. 
and take the prisoner to him. We'll do a little bit of uh, the old uh, confirmation that this is indeed the Weevil, and we shall uh, give you your gold coins uh, in the morning. Uh, where is this Earth Rig Hellbrow? Uh, I'll go fetch him for you. Oh, thank you. He goes <laughs> back and. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yar, 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 yar. Uh, back and another dwarf comes out with him, um, completely black hair, uh, in a nice set of like very shiny. It looks almost like silver armor, uh, with with the uh, badge of uh, Mirabar on his chest. And he says, "So this is the Weevil, huh?" Ah, yes, it is. Yep. Very well. Well, we have our ways to find out for sure. Just come on back here in the morning. And we'll have your bounty for you, providing it all checks out. Uh, is that okay with everyone else? I mean, yeah. do you think they're going to shortchange us? Nah. Isn't it? Nah. Can we like... do a quick insight just to make sure he's on the up and up and sure. will give us the sure. money? All right. That's. I don't want to give him stuff and then... Sunset is the best. With a 14. <laughs> Um, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not 100% sure the guy seems honest enough, and this is, like, such an established, um, place of law that you, you assume that they would come true on their word. Okay. If that's, if that's okay with everyone else, then <sighs> we can just drop him off here, then. Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And... Let's see. As you uh, are exiting the Hall of the Axe, um, you're approached by two very well-dressed dwarves, uh, one man and one woman. And uh, they say, uh... <laughs> wait, what's your party name? The Heroes of Indecisiveness or something yes. like that? Yes. Yeah. So they ask, are you the Heroes of Indecisiveness? Uh, let me no, check we on don't that know. For you. Well, no, we're not really <laughs> sure. <laughs> we haven't really picked a name yet, you see. We're still deciding. Damn, I can't believe it. <laughs> uh, they say, uh, the Marchion knows that you are coming, and he wished to hold a feast in your honor for your efforts down there at Xantharl's Keep. Well, that's very kind. Um... What kind of feast are we talking here? Where's the food? I got an insight check of nine. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I want to know if they're on the up and up. 24. Cool. I don't okay. care. I just want food. Right. Um, as as you're looking and trying to figure out their motives, you see a dagger coming. No, I'm just kidding. No, they're fine. They seem like they are completely legitimate and they are actually inviting you to a feast in your honor. Ooh. All right. Bye, Where's the food? All right. Uh, when is this feast? Uh, tonight, if tonight. you're available. Uh, we, yeah. are, we are, unless sure. something well, else comes up. Okay. Um, so they collect you and bring you towards this, this enormous hall, like bigger, it almost seems like impossibly big in the side of this mountain. Um, and inside there's already, it's already filled with dwarves and you could see towards the, uh, sort of like the middle, there's like this sort of elevated uh, uh table, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, which has um, many uh, dwarves and even a human sitting at it. And as you enter, uh, they all rise and raise their mug to you, and uh, the, the dwarf in the middle speaks, and he says, uh, These are the heroes of indecisiveness! And... Are we? They... <laughs> <laughs> They say, we owe our great hamlet of Xantharos Keep its protection to them. Drink in their honors tonight! And everyone cheers and starts drinking. They, they lead you to, like, a table where you can sit, and there's, like, this delicious, like, spread of food already sitting there waiting for you. Mugs, as soon as you drink from, they are filled right back up again. And there's, like, this beautiful music playing. People are dancing, drinking, and just having a good time. Hi, should we drink? I don't know. I can't make up my mind. What do you think? <laughs> but I forgot you were here. I'm waiting. Can I start playing my loot too? Can I join in? Sure. Me too. Me too. Sure. 
Dragon just says, yeah. Oh, oh damn. Wow. Dragon. Dragon. You guys are killing it. And even the band that's already there just stops playing so they can wonder at the beautiful Aww. music that you guys are, are uh, producing. Wow. That's what makes it. You're killing it. <laughs> yeah. I get I get saving throws uh, against Vicious Mockery and you get performance. That's where we're critting these today. Um but yeah, I mean it's just like this huge celebration in your honor and and the marching approaches you who uh, you gather at this point is like basically the leader of the dwarves of of uh Mirabar. And uh he explains to you that Xantharos Keep and them are like very close and uh they they come to each other's defense when needed. And they, they heard from the Lord of Xantharos Keep that you guys had defended them against the Frost Giants. And as they knew that you were coming this way, they prepared this great feast in your honor as a way of saying thank you. Um, and they also pretty much take any excuse to have a party. Of course. Yeah. Nice. So, um... That's very kind. They happen to know anything about the giant attacks or the recent... Uh, I mean, clearly they were just attacked by the giants. Do they have any... Any inkling as to what they were after, what they're doing, why they're attacking so many different villages, looking for something? Uh, so the Marchian uh, explains to you, and he says, uh, we can't say exactly. We've sent expeditions out because of the increased traffic of frost giants heading south into the uh, the grasslands. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something that's under investigation, but we, we can't figure it out. Just out of nowhere, they decided to start invading pillaging, looting. I see. But, uh... Do you know of a we... man named um, Artis Simber? Artis Simber? There's an old legend of a man of this name who took the Ring of Winter and took it to the north. But the Ring it's of just Winter? A, it's just a legend. What does this uh, Ring of Winter do? And, um... He'll explain to you. I'm just going to move you to the map just for a second. Mm -hmm. um, so everything up here at the top to the spine of the world is like this icy frost, like wasteland, essentially. Okay. Siberia. And mm -hmm. exactly. And he explains basically, you know, like it wasn't always that way, but the magic from this ring created, created this. It said that, uh, Artists? Holy relic of mm. the Frost Giants. But it's been lost to the ages, if it's even existed in the first place. So legend has it that Artis moved, or went with this ring up north and the, the land created the way it is now. The land was sh shaped or formed the way it is now. Uh, yes. The, the, the ring created the north as we know it. Uh, whether or not it was Otis who did this is unknown. But I see. He was supposedly the last one to, to possess it. Do you know where Artis is now? Or where he might have been rumored to be? No, I mean, it's just, I as see. far as we are concerned, a legend. I see. All right. Um, anyone have any questions for this guy? You guys are probably too busy partying. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Already. Well, thank you for your time. It, it, this is a great party. I appreciate it. Very well. I'm pleased to have you here. It's our honor to have you. Looks like Renee announced a question. Um. Yeah, I was just know? wondering um, about that well, so-called artifact that the uh, frost giant that uh, that we killed. Um, I mean, we could ask him, well, do you think that's the reason why they attacked the Athar's Keep? Because they were looking for this artifact, because that's what he asked us in, you know, in the very beginning. They were looking you know. for artists at Xanthral's Keep. I don't know if they were looking for an actual artifact. Well, um, when they did in, Tri they, in Tribor, in Tribor, they dug a hole and brought But those were, those were fire giants in Tribor. Right, oh, right. so okay. uh, interest. So, all right. So interesting. So the frost. These giants are the frost are, giants. Okay, so the frost giants are looking for someone named Artis, and the fire giants are looking for an artifact or a series of artifacts. Right, and you you also know that supposedly, like according to basically legend, 
um, artist is Clint or Kimber was the last person to possess this uh, ring of winter, which is like greatly or uh, greatly mm -hmm. desired, I guess, for lack of a better word, by the frost giants. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe they're at war with each well, other. Well, if 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 they're looking for artists, I wonder if I wonder if if, if they knew that artists had the ring. That means that they're trying to get the ring, and the last person that was rumored to have it was Artis. So I wonder if they're looking for Artis to get this ring, mm -hmm. uh, possibly to transform the rest of the world into frost. I don't know, mm -hmm. uh, but if if this ring has the power to turn the North into winter, then maybe they're trying to turn the rest of the world into into their preferred biome, as it were. Mm -hmm. mm. So that's what like I'm guessing. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. We have to go capture the rings. Yeah, we have to take it to Mordor and just to cast it into the fire. You know? Oh crap! Is there going to be like storm giants? <laughs> I see. And yes. like earth giants and all these other elementalist giants. Mm -hmm. Let me. Uh, I probably maybe should have explained this to you at some point, but hang on a second. Let me. Let me. There are six different types of giants, right? Wow. Wait. And um, we'll, we'll say that uh, I actually I thought I maybe I didn't explain this. I, I meant to if I didn't. So we'll say retroactively, this might have been um, that very old wise wise Harper back in Moon Gleam Tower mm -hmm. who gave you the Tressum. He probably would have explained to you that there are five different types of or six different types of giants. There's hill giants, stone giants, frost giants, fire, cloud, and storm giants. Oh, hmm. now prior. Uh, in in the days before things got crazy with the giants and they were basically kept to themselves, there was a what's called an ordning, which is basically like a caste system, to where um, the hill giants were considered the the least powerful giants. The stone below them, the uh, I'm sorry, the, the the stone above them, uh, the frost above those two, the fire above those, the clouds above those, and then the storm giants were the leaders of the giants, basically the most powerful giants. Hmm. Interesting. So, so um, they all live in separate kingdoms, I would assume. Correct. And it's uh, unknown why, after so many years of relative peace, the giants would start doing this. Because, essentially, uh, it was widely believed that the storm giants, who are, who are the leaders, and much less warlike than the others, were keeping the other giants in check and making sure that they weren't um, upsetting the world of the small folk too much. I was they sorry. tried to keep them in order. These kingdoms, I assume, then, were at relative ceasefire or peace with each other? Um, Correct. Because, basically, this ordining or caste system was bestowed upon them by their god. Mm. Um, um, so, their god basically decreed that this is what's going to be the ranking of power, and everybody has to uh, basically, like, swear fealty to those above them in, in the, uh, the, the ordining. Okay. That's interesting. So, so now we've got is it... giants just causing havoc now. Looking one the fire giants are looking for an artifact, the frost giants are looking for a man that may have the ring for so we need like more information. Is there is there like a, a an embassy or the equivalent thereof to where we could like talk to all of the giant leaders at the same time or I mean no. I didn't think so. I mean the so um, the hill giants, I mean, as their name suggests, basically live out in like the plains, but nobody knows exactly where their mm -hmm. kingdom is. Uh, the stone giants live under the, the ground in the in the earth. Um, the frost giants live in the north. Um, the fire giants are are um, said to live kind of in the northeast ish areas. Um, and then the cloud and storm giant. I mean. The cloud giants have these like um, castles that float in the sky, high, high above, and they're just they just move slowly, but they're constantly up there. Although it's quite rare to see them. Mm -hmm. And then the storm giants are said to live somewhere in the sea. Hmm. Um, so to to actually find them would be extremely difficult. Right. Um, and generally, they have kept themselves completely shut off from the the world of the small folk. Oh. Interesting. So what do you oh. guys feel that we should do? I still you already know my opinion. 
I, I know, you want tieflings. <laughs> well, we should probably get our the guy to sell with. The person that we're turning in weevil. Then we should probably get those magic items. Well, again, um, there's that whole Everlyn tiefling thing that Sunset wanted to do. Um, mm -hmm. How are we doing on time? You said until 5? Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to leave in the next half an hour or so. Okay. I just didn't want to start anything big, you know? Yeah. Oh, it's like... The way I kind of see it to this point, because we don't have next week either, so we're going to have to remember anything we discussed, too. Mm -hmm. I'm recording, so, like, I'll rewatch if need be, but it'll be there to refresh if need be. Um, do we stay the night and then get our gold and then move on to Mirabar afterwards and then head to Everland and just start our investigation there? Yeah. Sure. I, I think this is probably like a pretty good stopping point, honestly. Okay. Because I'm not sure what you can get into. I think the the only options that you have right now, I mean, you could do anything, but as far as like your quests go, mm -hmm. um, would be go to Everlyn and continue investigating the Margisters or do whatever you're going to do with them. Mm -hmm. You can go to Citadel Felbar, but um, to get the commendation um, basically cashed in, but unless you have something that you think that they can help you with that might not be worth doing. And you can go to Waterdeep and try to talk to this man who, who wants new artist Simber or Kimber. Mm. Kimber. Gotcha. Um, so maybe that we can, we can end it here. We'll say you guys sleep the night. Um, you wake up in the morning, collect your 5,000 gold bounty. So 1,000 um, a piece. Awesome. I will also say that for turning in Weevil, you guys get an additional 1,000 experience points. Oh. All right, so we're at 19900. And uh, next time we play, which will be in two weeks, uh, we can talk about what you guys want to do next. You can do one of those three things I think would probably be the most sensical thing. Okay. How much gold did we get from that bounty? One thousand. A thousand, a thousand each. each. A thousand each? Mm -hmm. yes. Five thousand all. Right. And, uh, imagine shopping You're going to yes. need to link a shopping book? Yes, so there are, there is plenty of uh, fine uh, dwarven shops here, including a magic shop or pretty much anything else you can uh, desire. Um, this is a huge city, so if you guys want to buy anything, you could think about that, too. Okay. Uh, um, I'm curious how much a magic item is. Pretty expensive. Uh, like, for example... Uh, hang like, on, let me get my like little long, sheet though. here. It's gold pieces, Xana. Not cash. The gold pieces. <laughs> I know. You're gonna, I know. You're gonna zonk. You're, you're gonna like bonk yourself. Give yourself a concussion with. I know. Right. <laughs> Funny. Yay. You know how heavy that would be. It take forty points of damage. <laughs> I mean, seriously, just think of because I, I mean, I work with coin, and a bag of pennies mm -hmm. is you know twenty five dollars, no, twenty five or fifty pounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's so. Uh, if anybody wanted to buy, for example, like a plus one weapon, that would be a thousand gold pieces. Okay. Um, Renane, uh, we'll say that we'll just skip the RP for now, and we'll say that uh, if you want to buy a uh, like a dagger that returns to you, mm -hmm. um, that one would be about seventeen hundred gold pieces. Okay. And I can't afford it. <laughs> how much do you have? I well, uh, I have fourteen thirty-four now after the plus thousand. One thousand four hundred thirty four. Yeah. I have around twenty I have twelve hundred. Gotcha. Um, I can give you some. No, um, you don't have to, that's fine. I can wait. Well, if it. it helps you that's then yeah, giving you some would work. <laughs> uh what am I gonna find? Because I may buy like a plus one bow. I was thinking. Uh, plus one armors uh, would cost about 1,500 gold pieces. Mm. Um, which uh, might go up slightly. Like a plus one plate mail would be much more expensive than plus one stud leather armor, for example. Um, like the, the, the base cost gets factored into that as well, is what I'm trying to say. To, to make gotcha. it plus one is an additional 1,500 gold pieces, is what I'm trying to say. Wow. Okay. Okay. So I'm. Um, I... for it? <laughs> No. What's that? 
Can we haggle for it? <laughs> yeah. Us being heroes <laughs> of indecisiveness and of Xanthral Keep, apparently. Yeah, yeah, your names would have spread throughout the mirror bar by now, I'm sure. Right. Yeah, I would allow that, sure. Yeah, because I wouldn't mind a plus one studded leather armor. Um, mm -hmm. So, let's, let's say this. Um, we're going to save the, the buying of magic stuff till next session, which yeah. is going to be okay. in two weeks. Mm -hmm. And in addition to figuring out if you want like a plus one weapon, if you want a plus one armor, uh, you could look around and see if there's any other magic items that uh, might be of interest to you. Just You could just search, like, I don't know, if I'm Vince, I could type in uh, 5e good magic items for rangers, right, into Google. And if mm -hmm. anything pops up that catches your interest, as long as it's not completely ridiculous, I, it, it might be affordable enough for you guys to buy it. And we'll talk about that uh, so next time. 5e magical items and then... Yeah, like if you, if you like for you, you might say like um, good fighter magic items or, or good archer magic weapon. Just something, you know what I mean? And th you'll, you'll find stuff in there that's like, oh man, I think that this item is so good for fighters, right? So Ooh, if, if you find cool. something that's oh, cool... I want, what the heck is that? What? Golden Bow of Reflection. I don't know. That sounds... That sounds homebrew. That's the other thing. You guys might come across stuff that's not official content and just run it by me. I'll say if it, it's possible for you to actually get something like that or not. I remember but, you um, give, giving us a... Sh uh, uh, there was a PDF yeah, shopping list of all PDF, the items. Yeah. Yes. Oh. So we could look in there, too. If I, I, I'll, remember, I, I'll see if I have it, but... Yeah, that's what I was just looking at here. It? Yeah, I'll, I'll post it just in a second. It takes a second to load because it's, it's a Google Doc. Um, I'm going to put it into our D&D &D chat. Wait, I um, okay. so this this doesn't exactly explain what the things do, it's just the names. But, you can but if it sounds that. like something that's interest to you, then you can look into it, yeah. And just remember, some of these things are extremely expensive, and that's because they're extremely powerful, but there might be things that are um, on here, and I might consider giving them to you, to you for cheaper if I think it's something that's not too overpowered and something something I think is cool or fits your character really well, I might give you a little slack there. So just look at it, do some research, and then we'll talk about it next session. All right. I'll look for a plus 10 bow of always headshot. Can I, <laughs> yes. Can I also make, like, can I cast the suggestion spell for shopkeepers to just Do give there... us their items? <laughs> On these items. Uh, no. No, okay. I, actually, I guess you technically could, but that would not be... That would be an extremely neutral thing to do, not good. Dang it, I know, that's so true. You were is essentially just items, stealing from them. Is there any no, items that are specifically like on this list that's specifically for rogues? There there might be. I I mean I didn't just call that. You out. you'd have to look into it. That's why I said you might just want to Google like five E good magic items for rogues. You know what I mean? Look yeah. it up on this thing and then you could figure out if, if it's something that you could potentially afford. You've got two weeks, Benny, so just look at the list. Write yeah. one down that you want to look into. If you need help, I'll I'll help you look into it. Yeah, that's all. Well, thanks for playing. That was awesome. Yeah, yes. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. So yeah, next session we will teleport somewhere from the uh, circles here in Mirror Bar, and we'll, we'll continue our adventures. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys had some fun. I, I, uh, we I, did. I, that, I was, that was a very yep. fun round. That was good. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks a lot. All righty. Have a good one. Uh, I will take care, guys. guys. On the flip side. Yep. Jeez. All right. See ya. <laughs> Bye. 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 -bye.